Hey y'all and welcome back to class here at Move with Stable. Today we have a 10 minute ab and booty workout to whittle that waist and tone that tush. If you've heard that before, it's because we've done this before in another segment, but we're using a little bit more pizzazz, a little bit more flair with this one using the bender ball. If you're tuning into the channel for the first time today, thanks for being here and I hope that you enjoy the variety of workouts just as much as I enjoy putting them together. For today's exercises, I'll walk you through each one from beginning to end for a 10 minute total body on the mat workout that you can pair with any other video on the channel for a great workout session. Let's get to today's moves. We're gonna start with full plank position. We're gonna tuck our bender ball between our knees. And we're gonna take a one minute hold here, hands underneath shoulders, pushing that weight out through the heels and try and pull your ribs and hips in line. So I want you to hold here for a minute, digging those fingertips into the mat. That's a cue I give a lot, just because wrist pain is so common with people exercising. And I'd prefer you not, not take your hands into your knuckles for your planks, because that's gonna put pressure on your finger joints. So stay here with me, we got about 30 more seconds. So some of that flair I was talking about, if you're holding here, you're gonna to start to feel those inner thighs kick in too on that ball. Five seconds left, team, here we go. Let's take it, three, two, and one. We're gonna put that ball behind our right knee. We're gonna take a pretzel pose right here. So if you're familiar with bar and Pilates, you might've heard of pretzels before. Not quite as fun as the ones that you get, you know, at the stadium or the ballpark, but very effective for lifting and toning your seat. We've got one minute here. What we're gonna do is curl and contract. Curl and contract, got it? Curl that foot, contract that seat. You've got one minute, plenty of time to make two moves here. One and two, one and two. If you're curling right, you're going to feel that hamstring kick in. If you get a cramp, fall out, stretch it out, and join me back in. You still got 30 seconds. We're almost there, we got 10 left. Good, all right, we're gonna swing that around and do the other side. Put that right leg forward, square off first, tuck the ball behind the knee. Find your good posture here. Always, always about the posture. Let's take one minute. Find that squeeze and squeeze, ball and hips. And I always have to focus really hard on my left side. It's not that it's weak. My left side just needs some more loving. If you're getting into bar and Pilates type exercises, what body parts have you discovered need some extra help, need some extra attention? Tell me about that in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And direct you to maybe a video that can help you with that. We're almost there. We're doing great. Take one more. Nice. Now we're gonna drop that ball between our calves. Different position. We're gonna isolate just a little bit differently through the legs. On the elbows in forearm plank position. Here's one minute here. So I took just a second to make sure I really got some support through my toes. Your weight should sort of be on the balls of the feet. Think about opening your rib cage right here, making a nice big base of support in your upper body. Look, and we're already halfway through. We 
we've just got 20 left. You can do whatever you'd like with your hands. You can open them here. That's always a challenge because people kind of want to grip their knuckles if, if they're digging in deep to fight for these last 10 seconds. Let's count three, two, one. We made it. Awesome. We're going to take tabletop position here. We're going to work those hamstrings again. Tuck that ball behind your right leg. So you're going to wrap it in nice and tight. If you're wearing slick pants, they're not going to be your friend for this. You might want to roll up your pants. One minute of knee lifts away from the floor right here. So my right foot is flexed. My hips are square. Abs are in tight. And I'm not rushing the move. So you're working your hamstring, your glutes, and your core. Oh, hey, and a bonus, your right shoulder. Y'all see that money maker right there? So control that on the way down, extra tension on the way down. Give me one more. One more because it's worth it. Let's take the other side and we'll swing around for you. Tuck that ball in. Roll the wrist if you need to. Let's set up and let's get to that other cheek, okay? Pull and push. Nice and square. In the hips abs in tight. Now some people like to tuck their opposite toe. I've never been able to do that, but you can try that and see if that helps you with your position at all. We're going strong. We're almost there. Take two more because both sides are worth it. Awesome. Okay. We're going to take it down onto our side. Now, to be honest, this one doesn't necessarily need the bender ball, but I need it for this workout, so it's here. So just hang with me. We're gonna take the right leg in line with the hip. I'm gonna be on my right palm. We're gonna lift here and lift that leg. One minute is a long time on these, so take your time. Breathe through it. And try and keep those hips lifted. So this is hips, this is obliques, this is shoulder, this is fire. Whenever something gets really tough, I want to ask you, can you do this with a smile on your face? If you managed to light a smile up right there, go ahead and give a like on this video. <laughs> give me one more. Nice. We're going to swing around and do the other side. Roll that right wrist. So the other one, the palm goes down. We are almost off the arms. So lift. Here's one minute. And up. I had to make a little hip adjustment. Let me make another adjustment. There we go. So check yourself at home. A TV screen works really great as a mirror. Some people hate to work out in front of mirrors, but for checking your form sometimes, you just gotta give yourself a look. And fun fact about me, when you can see all my teeth, 
that's when you know it's really hard for me. One more. Nice. Now we're on our backs, off our arms. And we're gonna take 30 seconds each side on this. We're gonna really burn up those abs. We're gonna start with my right leg up. And we're gonna take that bender ball to our shins like this. All right, so you're gonna peel up from shoulders to leg. Here's 30 seconds each side. One more. Other side. So just because you're on your mat doesn't mean you're not breathing. Just because you're not standing up doesn't mean your heart's not working. I challenge anybody that thinks mat work is easy to give this workout a shot. One more. Awesome. We're gonna put that bender ball between our legs, between your knees. Here's your bridge pose. We're gonna lift and squeeze and lower down. Here's your one minute here. This is your last minute of this 10 minute workout. So make sure you're lifting those hips. Get that good squeeze, zip up from your knees to your pelvic floor. We're about halfway through this minute. And let's take some pulses up here. So close the doors. That's the cue I used to give in studio. Close the doors. And keep them lifted and knees only. Knees. Three, two, one, done. Oh my gosh. I love throwing props in like a bender ball and resistance band to change up my workouts, create in this variety. I'm never bored. If you weren't bored in this video, make sure that you are subscribed and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you know when new classes are loaded and you can join me here more often.